Maybe Frank knows. Before there was OMC TV, there was a movement in this area for uh, access television. People like Marianne and Mike were very involved in it. So even before the three communities got together and looked for rec and sent out requests for proposals, looking for someone to come in and make a proposal, they were educating the rest of us about why we should have access television. Point that we are not by any stretch of the imagination, the first communities to have a public access station. There was an organization that I uh, joined back in 1978 called the National Federation of Local Cable Programmers. And they were interested in helping communities to make the best use of local channels that a cable company provides typically in a franchise to mm -hmm. the government and to education and also to the public. How is it going to come about? How are we going to make public television or public access television come to Larchmont and Mamaroneck? And uh, there were people in the audience that night at the time of the presentation of, of the contract who said, come on, let's get together. And before long, we had a community cable coalition, which... What they should want, because everybody kept saying, what, what, what are you pushing for? And we kept saying, for you. And it's a terrific example. I mean, we're all sitting here today talking to Rashmat Mamernik and using this channel any way we want um, to inform the community. Mm -hmm. It's work, and it's turned out they understand, they're supportive. It's, it's an amazing thing. You really should congratulate, or we should congratulate the three communities for what they did. They had great foresight mm -hmm. not only in negotiating together, but then in overseeing what we have right now. It came about, it came about the way it
passing title for Chris McLeod incomplete. <laughs> we'll show you the control room. Planning it and getting it to function at optimal levels was quite an achievement, as you can well imagine when you see all the equipment. We are now on the inner sanctum of television production, the control room. And right now you are looking at a crew for a people and issues program. This crew consists of a director whom you see in the center, Sandra Widmark, and a switcher on her left, Donna Adler, and an audio person on Sandra's right, Alan Rabuffo. I was doing a uh a show called Larchmont USA at Murray Avenue School uh, with the children, with a chorus, and she said, wouldn't you like to have it videotaped? And I said, what are you talking about? And she said, well, you can get it on Channel 8. So she put it on Channel 8, and from then on, I was, I was bitten by the bug. Video it, so anybody can do it. If I could do it, anybody can do a show. Incredible. <laughs> Unbelievable. So whenever somebody is needed, you volunteer to help out. Love it when the phone rings, honestly. Incredible dedication. Well, you better get back to work. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You were really sort of in on this wave, the wave from the beginning. From the beginning. Oh, isn't that interesting? Yes. That and it nice. certainly has turned out to be something marvelous for the community, for us here doing it. <laughs> it's been fun. I see you all look so happy. Yeah. And With the cable studios, and then I came to the conclusion that uh, the real thing w wouldn't be quite as fun as the cable is, as the cable studio is. So I pretty much stayed here and haven't really moved on from there. And you're having right. a ball. That we record on. And my function, in addition to installing all of this, is that I sort of maintain everything so that if something breaks, I'm informed and I fix it. And basically, I'll just keep things going. Oh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Has she ridden on the fire engines? Yep. Really? Yeah, she's been on it. How many times? That I don't know. That I honestly can't tell you, but I know she's been on it. My name is Ned Paulson, and I'm on the board of the Friends of the Reservoir. And I'm here because I, I think it's very, very important that we preserve this place. And also, for a very, very important purpose that has to do with the water that sometimes gets into your basement. We have here some people who know a great deal more. I would like to close here with my remarks on it. I am a uh, civil engineer by profession, and I will put everything into it to make that a, a success. You've done a lot of work on the... ...proposals for reform. But um, you have to remember that Regulations uh, are a double-edged sword. Organization as both a health insurer and a health care provider contracts with enrolled subscribers to provide a range of health services. Expectation, really, not a wish, is that eventually, five years, ten years, we'll be on the air, a full schedule every day, seven days a week, that will be so closely involved with the Emlyn Theater, with the libraries, with all the organizations here, that they'll all be part of this. It will be one big thing. And that the Gannett Chain may still put out a newspaper, but this is where people go to find out what's going on in this community.